Guess who's feeling old today? This girl. Not as old as this movie, but close. Very close. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, 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 you little dinosaur lover, you. You better like dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs, so. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you like them or not. They're not here anymore. I mean, I, I don't know, they kind of are birds, so. I'm getting a little off topic here. Anyway, thank you so much to all of my subscribers, all of my golden nuggets who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really appreciate having y'all here. We are getting so close to 400K at this point, and I hope we can reach it soon. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? Maybe consider clicking that little red subscribe button down below if you would like to be a golden nugget and also help us reach 400K here on this channel. Today, we are diving on into Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs are so cool. Fun fact about me, when I was a child, I used to know a lot about dinosaurs, but I have a really bad memory, um, bad retention, so I don't remember anything that I learned, but there was one point when I was 12 that I went to the Natural History Museum with my family, and I walked around the entire museum and I could name every single scientific name for every single dinosaur and prehistoric mammal. Like literally my parents were so confused because I just was, I would name the scientific name before we would get to the plaque and it would be right. <laughs> and they were like, what? what is going on? But I just used to watch a lot of walking with dinosaurs and walking with prehistoric beasts. Like I loved those like science-based shows. I just loved learning about animals and I still do. I honestly love watching stuff like that. I just don't have that same like room in my brain anymore for that kind of stuff to stick with me unless I'm re-immersing myself with it on a daily basis. So because I haven't watched them regularly in years, all of those names have left my brain. But I used to be obsessed with dinosaurs, obsessed with like the ice age and prehistoric mammals before that. Just was fascinated with natural history specifically. I've always really just kind of cared more about animals than I have about people. Although I, I was always interested in history in school too. I liked history and I was good at it. It was a good subject for me, but I just really wanted to learn more about animals and I liked biology in school too. I just didn't like the part where you had to dissect rats and frogs. Like I didn't enjoy that part, but <laughs> I always loved studying animals and dinosaurs because it, dinosaurs especially, it felt like we're guessing, you know, like there's a lot that we can learn from a fossil or from stones and just like geological history, but there's also a lot that we're just kind of like hypothesizing and it's like putting together a big puzzle piece. And I always found that really fascinating. And because of that, I also loved the movie Jurassic Park growing up. This is obviously a movie that I have seen. This is not one of those movies that I did not watch growing up. I have definitely seen this. I've seen Jurassic Park 2 as well as Jurassic Park 3. Fun fact, actually like Jurassic Park 3 a lot and it actually might be <laughs> my favorite, which is probably sacrilegious to say that like Jurassic Park 3 is my favorite over this one. But to be fair, this movie came out right before I was born. I wasn't going and seeing this in theaters. Jurassic Park 3 was more like when I could go see a movie in theaters, like more of my time, of my age, because this movie came out the year that I was born, but I was still born after it. So to me, I just watched this like at home on the television. I never got to see it in a theater and have that experience. I bet in a theater, this movie probably would have been my favorite. Jurassic Park 3 was my favorite. I don't know, just something about the cell phone bit. I won't spoil it, but there's a bit with a cell phone in that movie that was so scary and I loved it. But anyway, I'm a big fan of these movies. I'm not a fan of Jurassic World, I'm not gonna lie. I saw Jurassic World, the first one, and it was a massive disappointment to me. Uh, it just felt like a hammy movie with a bunch of product placements and um, things that didn't make sense. And um, I just, I was not a fan. So um, if you're in the comments and you love Jurassic World, I'm not trying to tell you you shouldn't love it. That's great for you, I'm happy for you, but I will not be watching those movies here on my channel. It's a waste of time, in my opinion. It's how I feel about the, the fourth Indiana Jones movie. Like I loved the first three. There's a reason you don't see a reaction to the fourth one here on my channel, and it's because it was garbage. Will I see the fifth one? 
I don't know. There's a big part of me that says, no, I shouldn't watch the fifth one because I shouldn't support something. If I didn't like the fourth, like I shouldn't then go support the fifth because that's when they make more as you pay for it and they make more. But at the same time, people keep doing that anyway. There have been a lot of things that I've protested and not gone and supported or not paid for or not watched and um, they still get made anyway. So I feel like I'm giving up hope at this point. <laughs> Anyway, this has been a really rambly intro. I'm just really excited to watch this. Even though I've seen it before and I am familiar with it, I thought it could be fun to watch because it is the 30 year anniversary, which is why I'm feeling pretty old because um, that means my 30th birthday is coming. Can't say that I'm in my 20s for much longer, although to be honest, I've, I felt like I was in my 30s for the last two years, so. <laughs> I honestly forget that I'm 29 all the time. But although I've seen this movie before, I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun moments and little things that I don't remember, um, a little jump scares. I don't really remember how it starts either. Should be a good time. Anyway, I think I have rambled on long enough. I am in a chatty mood today because I'm really excited to settle in for this one. So if you are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Jurassic Park. I used to like, think this is what I wanted to be when I grew up. Just digging away at bones in the in the dirt. Wow, that's a perfectly preserved one too. You're just fingering it too. Be careful. It's a little distorted, but I don't think it's a computer. Mm. Oh my God, that one extra is acting so hammy staring at the TV. <laughs> she was so over the top with it. What a moron. Stop the blades. What the f You just fly into a site that isn't yours. What the hell do you think you're doing in here? This guy. We were saving that. For today. I guarantee it. This guy. So obnoxious. Stop. I can see that my uh, 50,000. Oh, he's the one funding. Oh, sh Oh, he's funding it. Okay. Sorry. I guess we can't be mad. I tell you what, why don't you come down just the pair of you for the weekend? Just for the weekend. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Just a weekend trip. Not a big deal at all. I can't remember if the head of the park lives or dies, like that guy. I can't remember if he survives this movie or not. Oh, this guy. I remember him. On delivery, 50,000 more for each viable embryo. That's 1.5. Viable embryo. I'll get all 15 species off the island. Oh, I'll get them all. So that's the money in advance. 18 minutes and your company catches up on 10 years of research. Gracias, senor. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. That was Hammond's mistake. Oh, he's betraying Hammond because he feels he deserves more money. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? Jeff! Dr. Saffer, I, I refuse to believe that you aren't familiar with the concept of attraction. Oh my God. I bring scientists. You bring a rock star. It's an, he's an expert or whatever, I guess. I, I don't remember the beginning of this movie at all. Bad wind she is. We have to drop pretty fast, so hold on, because this can be just a little thrilling. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Fun. Really thrilling. Man, and it's crazy. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into because he hasn't told them, like, I, I've brought dinosaurs back to life, essentially. 48 hours from now, if they're not convinced, I'm not convinced. Shut you down, John. Yep. In 48 hours, I'll be accepting your apologies. You're very confident, John, but uh, that's not how it's gonna go. I actually, I remember what happens to this investor, this uh, this analyst guy. I remember how he goes, and I'm excited for it. Yep. Yeah, 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 it's time. He's about to lose it. Huh. Alan, this species of very honey has been extinct since. The Cretaceous Honey, period. don't stop looking at the leaf and look out the car window. I love how he just turns her head. Yep. Yep. There you go. Um, it's it's a dinosaur. <laughs> Maybe we should get out of the way. It's a little close. They just keep getting closer. I mean, like, listen, I know it's an herbivore, but still, it's big. It could step on you. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles the an hour. The T-Rex, yep, that's, that's scary. T-Rex? Uh-huh. Honestly, like, they really should have just never made any predator. <laughs> Although then the ecosystem would have gone unchecked, and there would have been too many herbivore dinosaurs making babies. How'd you do this? I'll show you. 
I mean, I love seeing like the amazement and the optimism, right? Because it makes sense they'd be like so amazed and just like tears of joy streaming down their face. They never thought they'd see something like this and to have all their hypotheses confirmed. We gotta have like that amazing feeling before everything falls apart. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. When dinosaurs ruled the earth, they're about to again. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. Oh, really? I've been present for the birth of every little creature on this island. What happens when you die, John? Surely not the ones that have bred in the, in the wild. Right, there are some that have bred in the wild. Oh, they can't? What do you do? How do you make sure that that happens? Uh, and how do you know they can't breed? Yeah, he's the chaos scientist. He's like... Well, because all the animals in Jurassic Park are female. They're all female. What happens if a male is born? You're implying that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed? No, I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. It does. It does find a way. I agree with him. Does he just figure out what it is? What species is this? Uh... Uh... It's a velociraptor. Yeah, why are you making a bunch of apex predators? You bred raptors. Yeah, that's where he's starting to think, okay, this is a, this is a problem. One T-Rex, maybe not so bad. A bunch of raptors? We can charge anything we want, 2,000 a day, 10,000 a day, and people- That's all he cares about is the money. Man, he was so strict in the beginning, like, my investors might not be happy, like, I'm here to check the safety, and the second he saw a Brachiosaurus or a Brontosaurus or whatever it was, he was like, can't wait for the merchandising opportunities and the financial gains. Well, thank you, Dr. Malcolm, but I think things are a little bit different than you and I had feared. Yeah, I know, they're a lot worse. They are a lot worse. I agree with you, dude. They thought he was gonna be like the progressive rock star that would be on board. And he's actually like, no, this is really dangerous. I don't believe it. You're meant to come down here and defend me against these characters, and the only one I've got on my side is the blood-sucking lawyer. Yeah, because he sees the opportunity to make money. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> well, they didn't even eat lunch. They're here. They didn't even eat lunch. They didn't even take a bite. Oh, his grandkids, right. Wow, we brought the kids here before anything was even regulated. It's so awful. He's like, oh, God damn it, kids. <laughs> Look on his face. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta ride with the kids. I read your book. Aww. That's, that's great. Aww, come on. He really doesn't want to engage with the kid. Come on, man. And which car were you planning on? The one you are. Come on, Dr. Grant. Come on. Come on. And then my teacher told me about this other book by a guy named Backer, and he. Oh. She said I should ride with you because it'd be good for you. It'd be good for you. <laughs> That's so cute. He's literally like raving about him. Like, I read your book. I'm such a big fan. And he still hates it. Oh, he's not riding with the kids. It's just the lawyer riding with the kids. Man, if anything goes wrong, this lawyer's not gonna be able to help these kids. I don't blame people for their mistakes, but I do ask that they pay for them. Oh, he made mis- Oh, it's his dad. He made mistakes and he's still, he's betraying his dad and trying to steal embryo species away from his dad's project. Like that's insane. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Uh-huh. God, look at this guy, he's so creepy. I like him because he seems realistic. He's like, these animals are dangerous. We shouldn't have made velociraptors. But he's so, he's so creepy. We'll try to tempt the Rex now. We're gonna try to tempt it. That sounds like a good idea. T-Rex doesn't wanna be fat, he wants to hunt. Yeah, yeah, this is the problem you're gonna have with the park. You can't control what the dinosaurs are doing. It's like going to a zoo when they have like a wolf pen or a fox pen. Like you never see the foxes and the wolves. Everybody stay here. Everybody stay here but me. Oh, Tim, dude, Tim. no. Oh my God, you guys did a really job of running and grabbing him. Oh, wow. She's sick? Of course. Of course, touch it, fine, whatever. The scientist doesn't seem that worried that there are kids and people just roaming the park. Seeing them cry is like, 
I love it. I love how emotional they're getting because it's like their whole life's work. The door security systems are shutting down. Well, Nedry said a few systems would go offline, didn't he? It's weird he thought he would hide that. They weren't paying attention. I guess he trusted that they wouldn't pay attention. I like want him to be caught, but I don't think he's gonna be. Wow, of all the ones to take, a Velociraptor and a T-Rex, that's great. I guess they wanted one of everything. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All of the paddocks are unarmed. Fences are failing all over the park. <laughs> Fine, Landry, check the vending machines. The fences are failing. Check the vending machines. The fences are failing all over the park. Oh, he's not in the building anymore. He's overriding the gate. Is he gonna leave it open? Holy sh He's so awful. The raptor fences aren't out, are they? They are. The raptor paddock was flashing. I saw it. Why the hell would he turn the other ones off? Cause he's going through them. And he's just leaving them open. Like, and he's gonna keep driving. He's not even, he's like, oh, I'll close them on my way back. Like, holy Wow, so only Dennis knows. Say the magic word. This is awful. We ha we put Nedry in charge of when he's corrupt and he has secret passwords on things that no one has access to. I mean, it's just awful. You hear that? You feel that? Oh God. The f and the T-Rex fence is out, huh? The water! Yeah, the water! Such a great visual representation. It, oh. The goat's gone. Where's the goat? <gasps> oh boy. Oh, it just touched the fence. It knows. Stop moving, lawyer man. Oh no. Oh, lawyer man, you idiot. You fing idiot. He left us. It doesn't matter. He wasn't gonna help you, babe. Honestly, it's better that he's running away. He's just drawing the T Rex away for you. Oh, he's going and hiding in the bathroom. You moron, you just showed it a bunch of movement. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh boy. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Go look at the toilet. Go look in the toilet, little T Rex. I had been right all the time. Man. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's really a bummer that you were right about this. Go look in the toilet. Keep moving. The cars aren't moving. Oh, that's bad. It's a shame it didn't stay focused on the guy that ran to the toilet. Oh God. And that glass didn't do <laughs> Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. They're just watching in terror. I kind of like this imagery of them like frozen in fear because they know they can't really do much. And now he's finally looking in the back seat. Like, okay, oh, what do I do? All you can do is be a decoy. Oh God. Oh, they're in mud. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. Oh my God. They're being crushed and sinking. Throw the flare. Okay, good, we bought us some time. Oh, he's gonna run it away farther. Get rid of the flare. Ian's not gonna die, I shouldn't be worried. Oh no, this guy's about to die though. Ian will be fine, Ian's fine. Uh-huh, you coward, you ran away. Stop moving, Tim, stop moving. Stop moving. Stop screaming, Tim, stop screaming, ah! I can't believe it ate the lawyer so fast. Oh shit. that's a drop off? Oh my God. Oh no! Oh my God! He's choked, being choked out. Lex, I know you're scared, but you gotta let him breathe. Let the man breathe. Grab it, grab it. Oh my God, one more time, third time to charm. You gotta get it just in the nick of time, get it. Tim is, Tim is definitely not in the car anymore, huh? He's fine, Tim's fine. God, you moron. All in the quest for money. Pathetic. And now you're in the middle of the park with half of the electric fences deactivated. 
Oh my god. Oh, now your glasses. Where are they? Are you gonna break them? I can afford more glasses. All you care about is money, huh? It's pathetic. Oh, what's watching him? Is something watching him right now? I actually don't remember. If I had to guess, I think Velociraptors kill him, but I did. I thought he died in the lab, not out here in the wild, so. Oh, okay, it's here in the wild that it happens, okay. Oh, it's not even a raptor. Is it? What is that? That's, oh, it's not, it's not a raptor. It's the thing that sprays poison. It's gonna spray poison in his face, huh? Anyway, you want food? Look at me. Why are you having a conversation with a dinosaur, you moron? And no wonder you're extinct. And now you're being mean to it. It's could it could kill you. <laughs> yep, it's the poisonous one. The one that we didn't see. Yay, we got to see it. That's exciting. <laughs> Sprayed acid on your face. That doesn't feel so good, huh? Does it? Oh my god. Oh, there go the embryos. Life finds a way, huh? <laughs> Why do I feel like it's in the car with him? It's in the car! It got in the car! It's so smart. Nice. It's a shame that he dies though, because he's the only one that knows the passwords. I stand on the door. Hang on to me. Okay. Oh, I remember when they start climbing down, the car starts following him, huh? Coming out of the tree house. Did you dad ever build your tree house? No. Down? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? It's okay. I'm gonna help you with the footing. Oh, well now you gotta climb fast. The tree is really cooperating with the car here to let the car fall just at the right exact suspenseful moments. Keep going, Tim! Oh my god, this car is just never stopping. Well, we're back <laughs> in the car again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, those are brontosauruses. I mean, uh, brachiosaurus. Yeah, Brachiosaurus. They're singing. They're singing. Well, this part is really nice. <laughs> is he gonna make a noise in response? He's gonna, he's gonna try, yeah. Is he just gonna be effortless at it? He's just easily, he's so good at it. They're not monsters next, they're just animals, and these are herbivores. He's just naturally good at it. That means they only eat vegetables, but for you, I think they make an yeah. exception. Well, I hate the other kind. Well, these kinds are gentle. They're just giant. They're huge, but they're like giraffes. <laughs> She's gonna try. Come on, girl. Come on up here, girl. Come on. No. Oh! Oh my god. God bless you! <laughs> this poor girl is just having a trip. To be called a hacker. Oh God. Uh oh. <gasps> Eggs. They're breeding. Mm hmm. Wow. Shocker. Again. Ian was right. Again. They're breeding. It's a dinosaur egg. What kind? Is it Velociraptor? Well, on the tour, the film said they used frog DNA to fill in the gene sequence gap. What if they used male frog DNA? Can female frogs reproduce? Some West African frogs have been known to spontaneously change sex from male to female in a They situation. didn't think about that. My God. Yep. Malcolm was right. I was gonna say, like, haven't there been instances of, like, too many females being born and so some species will change to male? Like, I've heard of that. Damn it, Ian. I had you knew but didn't mess with a raptor. <laughs> yep. They're all out. They're all out and about. Is this guy gonna die too? Man, the way he took off his hat so dramatically just to put it back on immediately. Just to be like, great Scott, I'm concerned. Run. You run. He's gonna sacrifice himself? Go. Now! God damn it, girl. Ooh, yeah! Like a jungle gym. F yeah, babe. <sighs> Mr. Arnold? Oh god, this is scary. Now this is scary too. Where is Mr. Arnold? What happened to him? Did he get hunted? Is he down here dead? What's going on? I don't want that hunter guy to die either. He's such a badass. Oh no. Oh no, the fence is off right now, but they're trying to turn it on. Oh no. It's not on, but it's gonna be turned on. No. What a jerk. What a jerk. 
He's having fun with the kids now, though. That's cute. That was great. <laughs> Can you go under or do you have to climb? No way. Now they're like, oh, we're climbing. We're ready. The thing is, like, you can climb it, but that T-Rex is still gonna, like, snap the fence in two seconds. Dead end. Oh, God, girl, you need to take longer booting up the power. Don't boot it up right away. Oh, no. Timmy, I can bet I could climb over the top and be on the other side before you could even get to the top. How about you try that? Race. Go quick. Now. Hurry. Come on, guys. It's not a race. Yes, it is. It is a race. It's absolutely a race. Alan. Ha! <laughs> Take your time. Oh my God, don't take your time. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Timmy. Timmy, you gotta let go. Just do a trust fall. Let Alan catch you. Go slow, go slow, go. Oh no. Tim, you gotta let go. I'm gonna count to three. One. One. Ah! Two. Oh no, oh no. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. He just got knocked out a little bit, huh? He got his hands burned. He's not breathing. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hammond, I think we're back in business. Did you just kill ah! I don't remember that! Holy f <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! How did they get in here? Ah! Oh, Mr. Arnold. He said! Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. At least the raptor was polite and oh, it tore the fence off. Oh, my God. Oh, and now there's going to be another raptor out here, huh? <laughs> Where's the hunter guy? Oh, he's still out here. He's alive. Oh, God. We didn't even see Samuel Jackson. We just saw his arm. That's so crazy. He had to go out like that. There's going to be another raptor behind him. There's one going to poke out right behind him, I'm sure. Yep. <sighs> Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. Oh man, what a bummer. He had to go out like that. That was the decoy, just like Alan said. Oh no, he's gonna be okay, he's gonna be okay. Tim! Oh my God, he's had to save this kid's life so many times. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my God. Three. <laughs> three, oh, one, two, three. <laughs> He's got such a good sense of humor. His hands would be burned, my God. Oh God, don't leave, oh, don't leave the kids alone. Famous last words. Oh, oh no. Oh, and it's not one of the ones where you, oh, yep, the kitchen scene, the kitchen scene, the kitchen scene. It's too smart, it's too smart. It's too smart. Cinematically fogging up the glass. It just knows how to find its light. It's just the two raptors, right? We don't know. Probably not. Probably more. Unless they figure out how to open doors. Which they probably do. They do. They know how to open a door. Holy sh- Yeah, so there's three. There's three. Great. Two side. <gasps> yeah, you kids should have kept crawling until you found a door that locked. And then also barricaded it just to be safe. Oh, that noise. That's a fun one to hear. Oh, goody. Oh, they smell you. You f ladle. No f way. God damn it. Stupid spoon. Oh, come on. The stupid frickin' door closed. Oh, it was the reflection. That's great. The reflection. Run, Tip. Oh, God. He's got the leg. Oh, no. Oh my God, I thought his goal was to lock himself in the freezer, but I guess it makes more sense to try to get... Oh God, the Velociraptor to stay in there. But the thing is, you only got one, that's one. It really would've been great if he could've gotten both of them in there. Yeah, hacker girl, oh right, she's a hacker! <laughs> She just, she just looked towards the ca the uh, freaking computer like, this is my time to shine. That was so amazing. She's got it. You got it. Yes. Yes. Yay. Great job, kids. 
The movie's not over yet though, but great job. Oh my God. Now we're, we're hiding in the vents? Why is it always the vents? Oh God damn girl. Pull her up quick, 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 quick. It's gonna jump, I remember this, when it jumps. Ah! That is so well done, that scene. Oh, I'm so excited for, the big scene is coming, guys, the big moment. I'm so excited. It's smiling, it's cheesing for the camera. Oh no, they all got out, huh? They all get out. Nothing you can do now. Hope for a miracle. Yep. How did he sneak in here? Yay! Mr. Hammond, after careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your park. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> Good. My God, dude. Dinosaurs, when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Yeah! Yeah! Amazing! Wow, I really can't believe I don't remember Jeff Goldblum being in this movie. I remember him in the second movie. Completely forgot so much about this one. It's interesting that like, they just assume Nedry's dead. Like no one ever confirmed that he was dead. He just left and never came back. It's his son. They're just like, ah, oh, he was insufferable anyway. <laughs> No one ever looked for him. That was so much fun. I, there's a lot that I didn't remember. Honestly, I don't know how many times I've actually watched this movie all the way through. Like now watching it, I'm like, did I ever watch this movie all the way through in one sitting? <laughs> like there are some movies like this that came out before I was born. I mean, this one just barely before I was born, but that I've like seen a lot of on TV and like have seen the iconic moments and certain scenes. Like I remember the kitchen scene and the T-Rex scene at the end and the lawyer dying in the bathroom. Like I remembered all of that, but there a lot in between. I wonder if I just didn't pay attention to a lot of the dialogue scenes when I was a kid or I just never sat through and watched this whole thing. But it was really fun, really well done. I actually, I enjoy the character of John Hammond cause he's like, He's very bullheaded and stubborn in his achieving his goal and his dream. But I, you know, I like that he's like optimistic and thinks like, wants to be like progressive in science and create all that, you know, you can be capable of creating, but it's just not a good dream. You can't control it. Like it's not a good thing to pursue, but I, I like that he's an optimist in that way. I feel bad for some of the characters that died, like the hunter guy and Mr. Arthur, I think his name was, or Mr. Arnold, Samuel Jackson's character. There were certain characters that I'm like, man, they didn't really deserve that. But it's also just complete chaos. It's like, you can't control nature. And he needed all of those people to die to show him that like this dream is not worth pursuing and it's not, it's not worth the risk. Um, which also makes me not like John Hamm. He's an interesting character because like I, I see where he's coming from in some sense and like, but at the same time, like I do think he was just reckless. And so that's not, you know, a good quality. But this is just, this is just a fun movie. I'm glad I got to revisit this with you guys and I actually rewatch it because um, clearly there was a lot that I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I think the third one is still my favorite just because something about it is so much, the third one is like so much scarier, I think. Um, which I don't normally like scary stuff, but I think the suspense in the third movie really got me. I don't know, you can let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think the third movie is good? Like, is that a hot take? Or <laughs> a bunch of people in the comments gonna be like, you're crazy. I, I do love this one and there's something that's just so nostalgic and great about this one because it introduces the Jurassic Park theme. It's like the beginning where people are optimistic, like maybe this could work as a park and like things haven't gone to yet we're like the second and the third movie it's a lot like no this isn't gonna work like this is a mess and i feel like the third movie really put a nice bow on the whole thing so that's and when i saw jurassic world i'm kind of like we're just trying to rehash something that i don't feel like we need but let me know in the comments down below do you think this is this one's the best or do you actually enjoy the third one i heard from a lot of people that the second one is like widely agreed upon is like not that good i don't i didn't think it was that bad but I also agree in that it, it wasn't really great. Like there were moments in it that were fun, but it, it definitely wasn't as good as the first one or in my opinion, the third one. But you can let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm crazy? Is that a hot take? I'd love to know. Anyway, that's all I have for y'all in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this movie with me as much as I enjoyed revisiting it. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more of the Jurassic Park movies with you in the future. Not Jurassic World though, because I don't want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.